Hey everyone, welcome to another Healthy Indoors Minute and to our home, which is going to be the star of season two, Home Diagnosis. While we're building, we are trying to plan ahead and to follow the rules of how to control your indoor chemistry. There are three main rules. Number one, don't bring bad stuff into your home. Mm -mm. That's a hard one. We'll talk about that in a second. Number two, ventilate. And number three, keep it dry. So. Let's dive in real quick how we're specifically doing this on this performance tuned home. Don't bring bad stuff into your home. We're really looking at all the materials that we're bringing in and we're looking at what materials can actually help us keep bad stuff from happening in our home. And one of them is clay-based paints. There is a clay paint maker in the States called BioShield. We've partnered with them because they have a product that has porcelain clay in it, which these aluminum silicates, I believe, is the, the mineral that we're talking about, tend to grab ozone and rip it apart and it totally neutralizes that. So we've been looking for a word that kind of describes yeah. what we want to have happen in the house. Because chemistry is happening everywhere. The whole world is chemistry. So what we're trying to do is maybe find things that don't fuel the chemistry bad stuff. in home. So so <laughs> not fueling the chemistry is the word that we're using right now. But there's other trade-offs that you need to consider. Like our house is structurally mm -hmm. kind of unusual. We have very long spans. And so we will be using some engineered wood products, which has glue in them. And the secret is not to eliminate all bad things from your home. Because number one, you can't, you do, can't that. do that. <laughs> and Hayward Score has figured that out. And number two, you are going to be manufacturing bad stuff in your home. Yeah. So the second thing is to ventilate. And we're going to be doing a lot of cooking and cleaning. So for that ventilation, we are going to be using Fantec. Yeah, all Fantec ventilation equipment. And we've got two different sections of the house if you're following the home build. The third point is keep it dry. And we have separate dehumidification systems that are dedicated to that, not just depending on our air conditioning. We're going to have ultra air dehumidifiers here in the living space and there in the studio. And again, if you want to know more about all that, how we're tuning that, mm -hmm. watch the, the other videos on that. But right now, <laughs> In the crawl space <laughs> below us, there is a dehumidifier running right now right because now. we've got water leaking through this thing every time it rains. By the way, you can see my jacket. That dehumidifier is called a desiccant dehumidifier. Desiccant dehumidifiers run down to lower temperatures than a normal compressor-based dehumidifier. So you kind of like, you need to research a little bit about how all this equipment works. But there's all kinds of really cool tools out there to help you control the indoor chemistry. Because of course, just focusing on not bringing bad stuff in is insane because you are going to be cooking and cleaning, both of which are very, very bad for and indoor And breathing air. and hopefully doing some other fun things in your house. You so. might exercise, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Get those skin flakes off. Yeah. Stay tuned. We're going to be telling you more and more about that as we dive into the build of this house. We're definitely going to be going in-depth on it on all 13 episodes of Home Diagnosis in Season 2. And we'll be talking about that here at Healthy Indoors Magazine. So subscribe to that. Comment, like, subscribe, and tune in next time. Yeah.